Hi, welcome to the latest Battlegoat Studios developer blog. Today I'm going to try and pick up on where I left off in the last video. The first video I was showing you a little bit about how, how you get yourself centered. That you start the game as a race on a planet in a system. And initially you don't go much further than that, but your goal is always to get some FTL ships and start exploring the rest of the system. To be able to show it a little bit faster, I'm actually going to borrow from the modding. And it gives me an opportunity to show anybody out there who's interested in modding where you would start with something like that. So if I bring onto my screen my Steam library here, I can go back to my library entry and right click on the properties for this and go into the local files and browse my local files. What I've done here now is I've brought up a window where it's showing me all the files stored locally related to the game. Specifically the files I want to change are in the maps folder, Orbats. Orbat is short for order of battle, it's a military term that we're borrowing. And the GR Orbats has a file for each one of the races. Now I know that 101, based on some of the other data files, is the Earthers. So I'm going to right click this one and open it just with Notepad. Because we store a number of these data files in plain text, it makes it easy for you to look at. The top section here, this is the inventory that you would actually begin with, that you'd start with quantity 3 of interceptors, quantity 3 of attack fighters, and a single drone. What I've got at the bottom here is that we have in left in for the testing all the ship types that exist right now, and the entries simply have no quantity. So if I count, I believe it's four spaces from here. So from the number one, two, three, the fourth value is the quantity. I'm just going to come down here to the survey ship and go one, two, three, fourth value. I'm going to give myself three survey ships to work with today. I'm going to close this, save my changes. Now go back to the game. Now that I've changed that opening inventory, I can just go into a new game, small galaxy. I'm actually going to go to as many races as I can get, make sure that I'm the Earthers this time, and hit launch. So now it's going to generate a new galaxy, and I will have these FTL ships available to me right at the start of the game. I won't know how to build more because I didn't add that technology. Normally I'd have to go through the tech tree to be able to unlock that design. But for our purposes today, it means I'll be able to show you a little bit of how to move around the galaxy. So now the game has started up, we're into it, we're at the planet level. I'm going to put away the help system for a moment, go directly up to the system level, zoom into my planet a bit, and the command department, reserved units, I just scroll down the list and there we are. I have a couple of survey ships I can work with. Now I definitely find the battle group system that we introduced in Supreme Ruler to be very useful for navigating around at the galaxy level. We are almost complete. <laughs> Hopefully by the time this video goes up, version 655 on the fast track will give you the ability to do some more selecting at the galaxy level, but for now the suggestion is to pick a ship and simply use this button here to create a battle group for it. You can tell that it worked once you see the little number has been added in the list here. So this is my group one. That means that if I've given the ship an order and I uh, let time roll, it's going on an order. If I use my number one on my keyboard, it instantly becomes selected. With those selected, I can right click, tell it where to go, one of the last updates for Supreme Ruler added to the game engine the ability for Waypoint. So if I actually hold Shift and click, 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 and I'll let go of Shift from my last click, and now I've set a sequence of Waypoints. This is simple navigation within the system. But because I've number grouped that ship, I can now go up one to the galaxy level. And this is the system that I'm currently in. And if I push the number one, I get my path line that that unit is now selected. And you'll notice that FTL, if I zoom out a little bit, FTL does have a limit on the distance. Your path line will go red once you're FTLing too far. And in fact, for testing right now, we've increased the standard FTL range. Uh, let's see, that, so that's about as far as I can go right now. That is farther than is intended for the start of the game. We are just getting some of the technology tree entries that will increase FTL range. Those are just got tested a little bit this weekend should be in fairly soon. So soon we will reset the ranges and you'll have to do that research when you want to FTL a bit further. But so again, I'll hit escape for a second to show you one more time that if I go into the system, oh yes, uh, another way to get down into the system is to do the right click, there's a go to option. 
that will take you down into it. So this is the ship that I got, group one. If I go up to the galaxy level, one on the keyboard, it's selected. We are also looking on getting the user interface built up for the galaxy level. You'll notice right now the bottom of the screen is empty. We're looking to get the command department back in there, The what is dubbed the land department, even though they're at, uh, we'll, we'll be figuring out the naming conventions that work best. Uh, we're also experimenting with the question of the minimap. That in early design, we had wondered if the galaxy level itself, because it's such a navigation-based view, would it be sufficient without a minimap? We're thinking that that may not work as well, so we're looking at a minimap for some uh, for a later version. But yeah, so with that unit selected, I've got time rolling. I can simply right-click on another system, and it moves to that system. Some of the iconography that we're using right now, hopefully the question marks make sense as unexplored. Once your ship arrives there, it will be classified as surveying. If you survey everything in the system, it will be classified as explored. So let's double-click into that system and see what's going on. So if I zoom out, I'm going to minimize my user interface for a moment. There it is, little dot. When ships FTL into an unexplored system, they arrive at a random point. You have no control. Once you have explored a system, though, you have the ability to tell it exactly where you want it to go. So for example, if I go back up to the galaxy level, and I want to return that ship to my system, but send it to a different planet, I can double click onto my system. The number group one will again get me the path line for that unit. You can see it's selected here. And this time I'm simply going to right click on this planet over here. And now my ship is back in the system. Immediately arriving at the planet, it's explored the system. I can see that it's life bearing. The atmosphere issues, we've mentioned this a bit on the forums, that there aren't any limits based on atmosphere yet. We're still developing that system. But so I've now explored a whole new system by jumping to it. I'm going to do that one more time going to the other system that we were in. So the first time we arrived in this system, we had no choice where we arrived. It was random. But now we've been to it once. I can go back into the system. And this time, I want to come and explore these planets. So I'm simply going to use my hotkey one to select my unit. And right click there, it's going to arrive. For the other two ship, uh, for the other two bodies in space here, I think I'm just going to shift click, then click to get back to that one. And now I'll just uh, use, uh, I don't know if we have a name for not FTL travel yet. I'll have to check what our documentation is sets for that. But this is the basics of being able to move around. As you'd imagine, if I was doing this with a colony ship, I would look for planets like this that are life-bearing. I could then go down to it. With a number group selected, if my ship was a colony ship, I would then be able to right-click on the planet's surface and choose to have it colonize. So because I picked the survey ships, I won't be able to show you the colonizing. I'll put that into one of our later videos. Some last things to leave you with, because the don't want to go too far on this one. The FTL should give you lots of stuff to explore with. The next thing that we are working on that should be in a fast track update coming soon is that right now, when I mouse over this system that I live in, it does give me a list of the FTL capable ships that are stationed there, but I can't access them yet from the galaxy level. That mechanic is being tested right now, and like I said, should be in a fast track build fairly soon. So this gives you a little bit more stuff to play with if you're exploring the game, or if you're still considering picking it up, you can see some of the mechanics we're working on. As always, we'd appreciate any feedback you have on the Steam forums, on BG forums, on the comments underneath this video. Uh, and you can find us on social media. When we've got a Discord channel, you can even come in and ask us questions directly though you're more likely to get an answer from somebody else in the community. We just keep getting busy with our development because we really are looking forward to getting this game to be a great space game that you can spend hours and hours fighting against other alien races, making alliances, and conquering the galaxy. So thanks for watching the video. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.